chosen ones is G. Wells Whittle. And them are you, which are the chosen ones, and I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey, look, chosen ones, it's never too late. It's never too late to change your situation. It's never too late to go after your desires and your dreams. It's never too late to get up off the ground when you've been knocked down a hundred times. It's never too late. All you gotta do is open your mouth and confess those things that are not as though they were. And it's done right there in that very second. You ain't gotta wait till you get your life together to get the things you desire in your life. You ain't gotta wait till you find yourself in the most ideal situation for things to work for you. You can get up in the spot, in the, in the, in the place you're standing in right now and become all that you desire right now in this very moment. All you got to do is open your mouth and confess that I am that is within you. And in that very moment, it is done. It is finished, as Jesus said on the cross. It is finished. No work needs to be done. All you have to do is believe and those inspired actions will come and, and, and be dropped on you in revelations. And those inspired actions are not for you to put all your faith in. Those inspired actions are just there for you to feel good in this linear time frame while you wait, while we see the manifestation come forth. See, you have to understand it's the I am that's within you that create worlds. It's the I am that creates your desires and bring forth those things. That's why when Moses was at the, the uh, Mount Sinai with the Ten Commandments and he asked God, he said, who shall I tell the people who, that sent me? Who shall I tell them sent me? And, and, and God said, tell them that I am that I am sent me. Who is the I am? I am blessed. I am whole. I am prosperous. I am abundance. I am healthy. I am a successful business owner. I am healthy. <laughs> That's who sent you. So when you start manifesting things in your life and people don't understand how these things are coming forth, like how is she doing this? How is he doing this? Tell them I am sent me. I am that I am sent me. How, are your, how is your business? How do you get your business to this level of success? I am that I am sent me. You have been given the power and in the very moment you use that power and you confess that power, it is already done. It's nothing else for you to do but just enjoy those inspired actions that just brings more joy to you and confirms that it's already done. But you don't have to work for nothing. The work has been done. You wasn't, we wasn't good enough. We couldn't, we couldn't. <laughs> We couldn't keep the commandment. We couldn't, our works couldn't fulfill. Couldn't fulfill the law of God. So whatever we do in this lifetime don't matter. There's no condemnation for those that are in Christ. For those that are in that Christ consciousness, there's no condemnation. It's nothing you can do wrong and there's nothing you can do right. All you have to do is believe. All you have to do is believe. And you'll be given the desires of your heart. What's been placed on your heart will be given to you. So get up right now. Everyone at the sound of my voice. All you got to do is start confessing your I am's. I am blessed. I am prosperous. I am healthy. And walk in that fulfillment that is already done. Walk in that belief that is already done. Because anything you see in this 3D world is already past. It's old. It's done. You're, every day you wake up, you're, you're given the ability to create every second of the day in your living state. When you're waking state, you're, this is a dream. You're able to create. So create. Stop letting life just throw you around and thinking that life is happening to you. No, you're happening to life. Use your power. Use your I am power. Which is God. That is God. That's your God-given ability. That's your God-given right. That's your inheritance. Look, chosen ones. You ain't got to wait. <laughs> you ain't got to slave. You ain't got to do nothing. 
but believe. That's what the faith is all about. Believing in the things that God has placed in you. And those things will come to pass. Those inspired actions will come to pass. And those inspired actions is not going to feel like work because those inspired actions are only there to bring you even more of that joy and belief that you already have in the things that you desire. You ain't got to wrestle and toil. I don't care what nobody say. Yes, your situation might not go from, 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 listen. Yes, people might say, well, it don't work like that and you got to work for everything you want. Yes, that's when you working in the world. But on this path and on this journey, you rest in the God. You rest in God knowing that things are already done and the things will come forth. It's nothing you can do. You'll be wrestling with the world for the rest of your life and still won't get to the level or the, 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 the elevation that you desire that has been put on your heart. Ask somebody that been out here wrestling and tussling with this world their whole entire life. Still ain't got nothing. Still working on a nine to five. Still haven't brought forth their dreams. Still haven't brought forth their desires. So once you put out, like I told y'all guys before, that, that duality. You living in one state in the physical realm and you in another state in the spiritual realm. In the physical state, everything just goes to shits. But in the spiritual realm, you see what's coming forth because everything in your, thing, your, your surroundings and things that you have in your physical realm must, must be replaced with good. So the things that are in your physical world start falling apart. Things start looking bad. Things start falling apart. But that's not a bad thing. That's just a negative. That's one end of the spectrum. That's negative. Things got to fall apart in order for the new to come in. And the, and the life that you see within, the things that have been placed on your heart, the desires, how you see yourself, where you see your, yourself, the, your business, your, your abundance, those things are on the other end of the spectrum, the positive things. Those are things that are, are coming forth in your life. So those old things must go away before the new can come. But y'all know what it is, chosen ones. It's a Sunday morning. Y'all better get up and have some church and get that good word in you. And y'all know what it is. G. Wells with them. Let's get it. If it ain't a capital G, y'all know it ain't me. Let's go.